Hi guys, a quick little message. You know, in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about helping people with silence. Um, my sister made a video in regards to this, and I'm going to post it in the description settings of this video. But you know, the video is very helpful, guys, because sometimes we have a tendency to do this. Um, we, okay, or speaking from experience, you know, I was one of, one of the people who really have a deep desire to want to help people, guys. And, you know, I'll do what I can. I'll try not to be forceful. Sometimes it may have appeared as if I was coming off as being forceful in the past, guys. And I've learned how to better do that, you know, now staying in Christ. And, you know, some we do it sometimes, guys. So, but what I've learned is... When it comes to some people, guys, some people you just have to really help in silence or support in silence, guys. You may not, some people you may not even be able to just even talk to or even have contact with, guys. But you still just have to do things in silence, still pray for people. Um, For an example, you could, okay, you may know the situation with a brother or sister. You may want to help them, but it's only so much you can do. You have to remember certain lessons that we learn only God alone has you know is our teacher and you have to remember we have to gain the experience in order to really be able to learn so sometimes you know people have to learn the hard way they have to go through things guys so they can gain the wisdom themselves I mean we can always we can always talk about you know the things that we've undergone what has helped us that people could take that into consideration but at the end of the day sometimes people have to learn the hard way and they have to experience things for themselves you know there are people like that but in the process that does not mean that you can't support people in, in silence guys sometimes we can be a little forceful you know come off in a religious way and we try to help people but what we do is we do more harming than we do helping and especially if we're not being led by the holy spirit this is why when we're helping we do want to be careful about our approach when doing things guys are just being led by the holy spirit because you never know the person's circumstances or what they've undergone or things that could you know that could very well push them away from the lord or to really tick them off guys so being led by the spirit you know just helping sometimes just helping in silence because some people are stubborn guys and when as some of you may know or you may not know when you're dealing with stubborn people there's only so much that you can do alone you're going to need the help of christ guys and when you're helping people and doing the work of christ you want to make sure christ is in the center so of course you want to do all things through christ guys but sometimes we don't we take matters into our own hands we take the initiative to want to help people because that's what we want to do it's a deep desire of ours and there's nothing wrong with wanting to help people but when you want to do things the right way with Christ in the center you just want to make sure you wait on Christ and do the thing that he wants you to do and sometimes it may call for you to support people in silence sometimes you could talk to a person until you turn blue in the face and at the end of the day they may if it's not time for them to understand and get catch on to that lesson guys they will not catch on to that lesson it could be because God wants to teach them himself or some things people just have to learn on their own guys but in the process you don't want to be forced you still support a person sometimes you may look and say you know you may look at a person and wonder like how come this person I tried all that I can to help this person why is this person still struggling guys well we all learn at different rates guys we all are learning different lessons we do help one another but we don't want to get to a point to where we are playing God in a person's life, guys. That's why we do have to be humble and just let God have his way and take over and to obey him. And as I said, support people in silence. We don't know. We may not necessarily know the full situation at hand of what's going on with a person or in that person's life. This is why you can just pray, guys. Um, with some people, you have to handle, you know, when you're dealing with certain situations. Certain situations are more delicate than others, so you have to go about doing things in a certain way or in a certain manner to help that person, guys. And that's when you really need to seek God's counsel the most, guys, when you're dealing with specific special situations such as that. Because you don't know, you know, how the other person may be or how the per other person may react or feel, guys. So this is why you do, you know, want to support people in silence, being led by the Spirit, guys, in all that we do. If you hear that noise, guys, then that's the rain that you hear because it is raining here so yeah guys just learn to support people help them in silence guys love sometimes love on people in silence you can always pray for people in the backgrounds you don't necessarily have to make everything known that you're doing this or that you're doing that because you never know what a person's going through but just food for thought things to take into consideration guys and to just really be patient because you don't know the intensity of someone else's battle, guys. It may be easy to you, but it may not necessarily be easy to that person. We all have strengths and weaknesses. What may be easy for us may be hard for someone else and vice versa, guys. 
So this is why you do want to be patient, guys, because love is patient. The Bible does talk about that, guys. Love is patient. It's kind. It does not envy. It's not prideful. It does not boast, guys, and so on. So just really, yeah, take this into consideration, guys. So thank you for taking the time to listen and have a blessed one.